Hello everyone, I hope you all are fine and doing well. In this video, I am discussing about PRPs and PRPs is a component of FSSC. What is PRP? PRPs are the basic conditions and activities that must be implemented throughout the supply chain to maintain food safety and there is the specific standard for it. PRP standard which is specifically known as ISO technical specification which is this. It is divided into two parts, auditable, auditable and non-auditable clauses. In this video, I will describe fifth clause which is layout of premises and workspace. So let's start this layout of premises and workspace which is fifth clause of the standard is further divided into seven sub clauses. The first sub clause which is 5.1 is general requirement and this clause is summary of other six sub clauses. If we implement those six sub clauses then we will automatically comply with the 5.1 clause. 5.2 clause is internal design, layout and traffic patterns. So the building shall provide adequate space. What does adequate space means that your plant should have enough space. You can easily align equipments and machines and the people or the worker can easily do their job. Next point is logical flow of materials. So what does mean by logical flow? Raw material is entering from one point and going to the preparation area, then batch preparation, then heating or you can call it as a processing and then the filling of the product and packaging. After that, you move the product into storage areas. It's a second example to make you understand what is logical flow. So raw material is entering from one point and exiting finished product from the other point by following a logical flow with processing, bottling and then packaging. This is example of a logical flow of material. So the third point is products and personnel. The third point is products and personnel, which we normally call as traffic pattern for product and people. To mark on floor the traffic pattern for products and people. And to comply with this clause, you can mark traffic patterns. You can mark lines, the movement of people and material. Next point is next point is physical separation of raw from processed area. So here physical separation of raw material you can do by two methods. One is physical separation by making walls between different areas or you can also if it is not feasible and not possible in your company then you can also use plastic curtains to separate the process from raw material area. Last point is the opening intended for transfer of material should be designed to minimize the entry of foreign matter and pests. And for this again you can do two things one is using plastic curtains on the door so you can minimize the risk of pests like flies and foreign matters like dust from the outside environment and the second thing is using air curtains on the door so and and you should use the industrial air curtain so the next clause is 5.3 clause which is internal structures and fittings so the first point is, point is process area wall and floor shall be washable or cleanable as appropriate for the process or product so what does it mean and that you can your floor should be washable you can use engineering structures and for the floor you can use epoxy floor because they are easily washable and they are also uh, they are also resistant to chemicals cleaning chemicals so you should use such kind of full floor and walls the next point is wall floor junctions and corners shall be designed to facilitate cleaning so here you can use the round corners because in that way you can clean them easily next point is so floors shall be designed to avoid standing water and then they should be sealed, drained and covered. In milk industry use or beverage industry, mostly it's a wet processing. So flow water should be toward the drains and the drain should be covered and drains shall be trapped and covered. Next is ceilings and overhead fixtures shall be designed to minimize buildup of dirt and condensation. So for this, uh, use plain and easily cleaning cleanable ceilings and do not use false ceiling and this such kind of crisscross structures totally avoided in the processing area and you're in premises next is external openings window vans fans should be insect screens so here what does it mean cleaning of in windows with with net and the, the size of net should be small and then you should not only the windows but you also need to screen the panes as well screening of exhaust fan with large size screen is not acceptable so you should avoid it other you need to use small size mesh and then last is screening of vents so if there is any vent you should also screen them last point is external opening door shall be closed or screened when not in use if you're not doing anything it this door should be closed completely but if it is not possible because of your processing then you should 
uh, use plastic curtain to avoid direct entrance of dust like flies or you can alternatively also use industrial air curtains both are acceptable now the next clause 5.4 is lubrication of equipment what does it mean it, that your equipment should be rust resistant rust free then you can use stainless steel or mild steel for your equipment and away from the wall to allow proper cleaning and maintenance if it, if you are going to fix them with the wall then it will be it's very difficult to clean them most important point is that your equipment should be designed in the way that it, it is easily to clean 5.5 is laboratory facilities so here you what you need to be considered that pathogenic or micro lab should not be in production areas and the second is ongoing inspection of food or product with sanitized thermometer 5.6 clause is temporary or mobile premises and vending machines so what does mean by temporary mobile premises for example temporary container for food storage in the event of cold chain broken or extra stock handling according to this clause these temporary premises should be cleaned or if there is a construction work or cold chain broken so somebody is also preferred to have a warehouse 5.7 clause which is the last clause of this prp it's storage of food packaging material ingredients and non food chemicals so the first clause is i will describe one by one with pictures in the next slides to cover these two points what we need to do that your storage area should be well ventilated there is no condensation proper racking you can use racks or the pallets and then humidity should be controlled and overall room temperature should be controlled floor should be clean and with proper drain labeling and free for food from in first in and first out i will describe in the later stage should be maintained in your storage area the next point is storage area shall be designed or arranged to allow segregation of raw material work in progress and finished product so you need to designate separate areas for cooked and raw raw products if it is not possible it should be segregated properly and then we must have a place for rejected goods as well now the next point is all material and product shall be stored off the floor and with sufficient space between the material and the first floor inspection and pest control activities to be carried out so, and the storage area shall be designed to allow maintenance cleaning prevent contamination and minimize de deterioration for to comply with these two requirements what do you need to do product should be off the floor and away from the wall and for this you can use racks or pallets and in this way you can carry out the cleaning activities maintenance activities and also the monitoring of the pest activities easily and for this point a separate and secure storage area shall be provided so for this you need to have a specific room for cleaning items and the cleaning chemicals but if it is not possible you can designate a cabinet and and it should be locked this was the last point and the last point is exception for bulk or agriculture crop material shall be documented in the food safety management system so in that point you do not need to do anything just it's a documentation requirement and you need to uh, document in food safety management system which is a manual for this clause what documents and records you need first clean you need the sop and include these requirements in your assessment checklist and whenever you do the audit you must keep records of those audits so these two are the requirements and in the next video i will come up with the next prp thank you for watching my video please hit like and subscribe uh, my channel keep watching and share with your friends thank you so much